In this video, we're going to compare the Microsoft Surface Pro 5 to the newly released Microsoft Surface Pro 8, and we're going to conclude whether it was worth the upgrade for me. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. Just a few housekeeping items before we start. All the timestamps and affiliate links are going to be in the description below, so make sure to check those out if you're interested in something specific. I'll try to put some cards at relevant times to other videos that are worthwhile, so they should appear in the top right corners. The first item of comparison is the general design of the tablet. The Surface Pro 8 is a lot slicker. I just personally like the way it feels. It's the slimmer design and rounded corners of the Surface Pro X, whereas the Surface Pro 5 is a little bit more bulky. So in terms of style and feel, the Surface Pro 8 definitely has the edge. Speaking of edge, the new Surface Pro 8 came with Windows 11 installed on it. I'm not sure if the Surface Pro 5 will be available to upgrade, but it's nice that I got to enjoy the Windows 11 earlier than most by just a general upgrade. It's so much smoother than Windows 10 and I'm not sure if it's the device itself or if it's the operating system. A big reason why I made the jump was that the new device comes with the new Surface Slim Pen 2. It, it's a separate price, but I would buy the new pen as well. And this new pen is just so much better. First of all, it charges within the keyboard. So there's no more, I think it wasn't AAA batteries, it was 4A, 8A, 8A batteries. And those were hard to find and who knows, you, you might be writing, teaching, and then your, your pen dies and you don't have any spare batteries and then you can't write and that's that's a total disaster. So the new Surface with the pen going in the keyboard solves all those problems. The tip is a lot sturdier, so it was a problem for me that I when I dropped the pen for the Surface Pro 5, the tip would break. So I had to buy tip replacements. It wasn't the end of the world, but in terms of experience, it's a lot sturdier and the experience is the same. So I think that's a net win as well. A big win of the pen going in the keyboard is that I can now store my Surface in my backpack and I'm not scared of losing the pen or damaging the pen because it's stored safely in the keyboard and that's a huge benefit. And lastly, that's kind of a, a little nice thing and doesn't really change much is that there is a little shaker in the new pen that makes the writing experience feel like paper. I'll try to make a video on that, give you my thoughts on it, but so far it's nothing mind blowing. So if you're thinking of getting the new pen just for that feature, I would probably be hesitant, but for all the other reasons, then it might be worthwhile. Okay, so now let's talk ports. The new Surface still has the audio jack. That's good, because you don't need to upgrade if you have the standard audio jack. I think it's 3.5 millimeters, something like that. But now it also has two USB-C ports instead of one USB-A port and a mini display port on the Surface Pro 5. The two USB-C ports are much more versatile and powerful. I think you can connect some external monitors that are very powerful for gaming and whatnot, so because they're Thunderbolt ports as well. I don't know all the details, but I just know it's it's overall a better thing. And USB-C is a very common type of adapter compared to Mini Display, for example. In terms of screen, the Surface Pro 8 has a 3 by 2 ratio, which is very popular and useful because apparently when you browse Windows, it's more the long it's more on the long side than the typical ratio, so that's good. The bezels are a lot uh, slimmer, so then you have about the same size of screen, but you have more pixels in the screen. The screen is bigger, although the, the actual hardware is close to the same, and I'm pretty sure the resolution must be better as well. Again, those are just the details, but it, the, the feeling of it is that much better. The keyboards are fairly similar, although there are a few improvements on the keyboard for the Surface Pro 8. The mouse pad has a much better tactile experience. I think it kicks back at you. I'm not sure the technology behind it. There's a slot for the slim pen. That's the main difference. And the general keyboard is sturdier. So that's a good thing because I know that was a complaint for other people, although it wasn't for me. So even with the keyboards, there's a significant upgrade that 
was worthwhile for me. The last thing worth mentioning of the comparison is now you can add some external storage so you can put a micro SD card in your Surface Pro 8. So you can add up to, I think, a terabyte worth of storage on your laptop. It's also good because you can uh, store secure information that way or even if you're a content creator and have a lot of videos, then you can store a lot more data on your computer than the standard 256 gigs or, or whatever it comes with. So you can save money that way as well, which is nice. All right, so let's wrap things up here. The Surface Pro 8 is just a better overall tablet in almost all dimensions as the Surface Pro 5. And that should be obvious. It's been almost maybe three to five years since the, the, of the difference between the two models but sometimes it's not always the case, right? And that's one thing to know it's better, but the question that we're all asking ourselves is, was it worth the upgrade? And I can't answer that for you, and that's why I made this video, so you can make your own choice, but I can tell you it was definitely worth it for me. Why? Well, that's my job. I'm a teacher, I use it all the time, I'm a student, I take notes with it. I make videos about it, So, and I just love the surface. So for me, it was definitely worth the wait, and I'm very happy with what they did. It seems like they basically took everything that was working well for them and just made it better. We didn't lose any big things. Maybe you have, let me know in the comments. But for me, they just made everything better and upgrade, updated it so it's up with the time. In terms of pricing, the Microsoft Surface devices are not cheap and all Microsoft devices aren't cheap, but at least you know what you're getting into with a big company like that. And personally, I think it was well worth the money. I use it for everything. I'm a student, teacher, I make videos about it and all these types of things. So much worth it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I think you're also gonna enjoy the other videos appearing on the screen. There's a lot of stuff regarding Surface, OneNote and all those things. So make sure to check those out. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know if you think it was worth the upgrade. And to support the channel, the best way to do it is to do the, all the YouTube things. So like the video, subscribe, but really it's to share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you another episode of Do The Work.